But Bob, we got to start with a former U.S. Open champion who gets it done at Colonial, Justin Rose. What a performance, and he kind of outduels our defending U.S. Open champion. Yeah, and I think, you know, when we talked about the top players that we've got in the in the game, we sort of leave him out of the conversation. We talk about Rory, we talk about Jordan Spieth, we talk about Justin Thomas and, and, and uh, the, the likes of those guys, but we never really consider how good Justin Rose really is. And that might be a firepower conversation, and we'll get into that, but when you're talking about captain consistency, let's look at Justin Rose's performance so far this season. Rosie this season, 11 starts, two wins, uh, top fives. The thing that uh, impresses me, Bob, is it's zero miss cuts. Just really consistent for Justin Rose. And now, of course, vaulting himself into second place in the FedEx Cup standings, just behind the previously mentioned Justin Thomas. Solid season all the way through start to finish. He and uh, Sean Foley have made some great strides in that game. Well, Justin Rose, like you mentioned, uh, maybe it's not the firepower, because we're talking about those other players, and we had this conversation this week on Golf Talk Canada Radio. You're looking at the top five players in the world, official world golf rankings, or even FedEx Cup. Who was going to be player of the year? We also had the conversation that who might pop out if they bring their A game. We'll talk about that coming up next, because we got to talk a little Rory. But in terms of player of the year, Justin Rose might be just getting ready to peak at the right time, and now already has two wins. Well, two wins, and also he wins on a golf course that is going to be strategically very similar to what he's going to face at the U.S. Open. He's already won a U.S. Open, and, and I think that if you look at his game right now, the only weak part that he thinks is that he can get a little bit better on putting. But off the tee, into the greens, I mean, he's third in scoring average on the PGA Tour. He's second in birdie average on the PGA Tour. He could very easily have a major or two left to win this year. 